This is two and a half weeks. This is what I deal with every day with this horse. I've added nothing new today. It's just the way she is. See how her mouth stays open? It's really hard for me to even take her on a trail ride because she's she jumps into the saddle with me. I've tried ponying her on trail rides. I haven't been able to get her out. All right, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to put the bag back on her butt and see if she'll calm down at all. Here's second go around. See if she's any better. This is two and a half weeks with the American flag. Just shaking it. She's still absolutely paranoid of flags. On a trail ride, every time she panics, she'll fly past me. I ponied her on a lot of trail rides and she will try to jump into the saddle with me about every two seconds. Um, believe it or not, I have ridden her. We've only walked and trotted. I'm leaving that rope hang on her. I've just ridden her with a halter and we have walked, trotted, she stops and backs. But this is the kind of thing that she is, she will run like this until she's dripping wet every day. And it's the same things. I put the same thing on her. She absolutely hates anything touching her rear end. And if you're going to pack off this horse, she, she's got to get used to the stuff on her back. And she hates anything back there behind the saddle. It's come up on the saddle now, or she'd still be bucking. Now let me stop her here again. All right, now I've added the flag to her side, and I tied those things so they can't come off of her rear end. You see how angry she gets so angry. Usually her ears pin back. She's a handful. I'm showing you this video because <laughs> this is after two and a half weeks. Now, if I take everything off, I, she'll ride around in this round pen pretty quiet. She'll panic at, you know, if anything makes a noise, she's going to jump. But she's probably been on, at least out on the trails 12 times. Absolutely cannot get her to cross water. She will jump 20 feet in the air. Um, and I finally dragged her into the pond one day, just winched her out there with another horse, and I made her stand there for about 20 minutes with water up to her knees and she just stood there and shook and she was scared to death but she didn't stay in it but I still cannot get this horse for the life of me to walk through a creek. She panics if mud touches her feet um, even the hose just spraying her down every day. She's getting better. I mean this believe it or not is an improvement but I'm just trying to make a video so that you guys know what I'm up against with this little horse. She's all Arab. Um, you have two types of Arabs. You have the ones that are very intelligent and high-strung, and you have the ones that are high-strung and just goofy. And she definitely falls under the goofy. Um, I mean, you can ask some of the people that have been out here. They just, like, they're shocked. They watch me do this every day, and they think, has that horse gotten any better? She actually has. Um, it was 35 minutes the first time I showed her a flag before this horse quit just in full-blown panic. Um, so, I mean, she's carrying the flag on her side now, and she's starting to calm down. But this is what I go through every single day with her. Um, and this is all I've added to her, is this right here.
I'm not putting anything else or she'll probably go over the fence. But and that represents about 30 minutes right there, all total, um, before she'll calm. And, and now I'm going to take all this stuff off of her and go ahead and ride her for a little bit. But just so you know, not trying to scare you, she's doable. I'm just not sure I can finish her in 30 days. I've had some tough ones, but she takes the cake. Okay, this is from on top of her back. And I'm just, I just ride her in a halter. I do a lot of bending with her. Um, she's still nervous. I can see it in her ears and I can feel it through my legs. But um, what she does is if I push her and try to make her go on a little faster, she gets real mad. She'll slam her ears back real hard and try to turn and bite me. And she's not the type of horse that you can bust her in the nose with your boot or she'll end up in the next county because she's so panicky. So what I'm having to do is just pull the other side real fast and turn her into a circle the other way. I'm not going to do that right now with a camera in my hand anyway because I need both hands when I do push her on. But that's her answer to everything is she gets mad. Um, in fact, there's been times when just cinching her up, she'll turn and try to bite me. And I can... I can usually bust her then, no problem, but when I'm on her back and she does it, she'll, she'll spin and she'll try to grab my ankle I mean, she's, with her ears flat back, her mouth open. Um, her answer to everything is just to be angry and attack, but um, okay, that's it.